to the commodity space. And today we turn our eye to cowpea. You know it more as beans. It's a highly nutritive staple and a major source of protein. It is predominantly produced in Africa, of which Nigeria accounts for 48% of total Africa's production. Uh, in spite of this, you can tell that Nigeria still imports a whole lot. That's why we're having a discussion with Toyo Iweton. He is an analyst with Financial Derivatives Company. Hi, uh, Toyo. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. So in spite of the fact that Nigeria accounts for about 48% of the production of beans in Africa, Nigeria still imports about 500,000 tons of beans annually from other African countries, Niger, Cameroon, Burkina Faso, and it's all to meet local demand in spite of the fact that we are the giants. Why can't we produce for ourselves? Okay, so um, it's not like Nigeria has a production issue per se. We do produce enough to be able to cater for the um, economy as a whole. I mean, we produce about 34 million tons. However, the um, predominant issue is a storage issue, right? Now, for the storage issue, um, we, we experience a lot of post-harvest loss as a result of this pest. And, um, well, moving forward, uh, the Institute of Agriculture in um, Amadubelo has um, recently provided um, a genetical uh, modified um, specialty of cowpea that is resistant to this pest because prior to now, there were a lot of um, um, old method that was used to cope this um, issue by spraying insecticides on this um, Products and then on the long run, they kind of are harmful to the um, health because not every time you get to like sun these things and then have to kill the insecticides. So at the end of the day, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, especially with this um, genetical modified uh, species of cowpeas that have been brought in place. All right, so um, we've seen the price of, I think, all commodities have spiked um, with COVID and then, of course, with the war going on in Ukraine. Uh, take us through the price movement of beans in recent times. Well, I mean, in recent times, um, just like at the point where the border was closed, we saw like a, a hike in the price of beans. However, uh, in the current situation of the economy, you can see today inflation is about 16.82%. Um, consumers will always find an alternative to call what their purchasing power can, can buy, right? So in as much as um, beans is a highly um, preferred choice because you can get different varieties from it, from your um, bean cakes, probably known as akara, and your bean pudding, probably known as um, moi moi. When the prices of these products go high, you see people tend to go for alternative of which they can afford because at the end of the day, you can only spend on what you can afford. And if your earning capacity is not increasing, your taste board will have to adjust to what you can afford <laughs> at the time. Exactly, Toyo. <laughs> and as you said, you can only spend from what you have and not from what you have on your mind or what you imagine that you have. Now, as you've mentioned, beans is being used for a variety of purposes. And then you have uh, the uh, various types. I think we have the Olo, we have Olut, we have, uh, you know, the ones that are specific. Do they have different prices? And uh, how is the demand trend for these differentials? Oh well, yeah, so the the demand the prices of these different um, type of beans, right, is being driven by the demand. Now, what exactly is driving this demand? Well, it's mostly the taste. I mean, you have the Oloin beans, which goes for um, about forty to forty two thousand for a fifty kg bag, and then your Olotum beans goes for about thirty four thousand for a bag. That's about twenty three percent um, difference. Now, this is because of demand for the Oloin is higher. And then the question will be, oh, what would make the demand for the Oloin higher than the Olotum? In as much as they are both rich in proteins and the like, which will help um, boosting your immune system in this point in time where everybody is really health conscious, given that we're literally just coming out of a pandemic season. There are other um, factors that consumers will take into consideration. I'm talking about the tastes and then also it, um, the Oloin um, cooks faster. So there, therefore, you're going to save like cost on your gas. And also, when you're trying to process it into your bean pudding and then your bean cakes, it's easier to peel um, when soaked. So, yeah, those are like one of the reasons why you have one more expensive than the other, and then you move into it. 
I'm sure women will be the one driving those differentials. They are the ones who deal with the different uh, plates and dishes and which one cooks faster. Well, thank you so much, uh, Toyo, uh, for giving us your perspective on uh, the commodity today, which has been. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for having me.